Ronnie 2K has been the main cause of a lot of the 2K community's frustration this year, especially with the way he handles certain things and expresses himself. Once again, Ronnie 2K has showcased that he does not care about how the consumers feel and only cares about himself. Check out a couple of these tweets I am going to show you. Before we jump into the whole Ronnie 2K, Ronnie 2Cap situation, I want to show you guys this screenshot that someone sent me on Instagram earlier today. So on your screen, this is showing you that NBA 2K20 is actually $29.99, brand new copy for the standard edition on PlayStation 4. I'm assuming this probably applies for Xbox, but this is actually ridiculous. Sure, it might be a little promo for them for the start of the NBA season, but I don't ever remember a 2K going on sale this early in the year. It's only October. Regardless, I still don't even recommend buying this game for that price, even though most of us and most of you guys watching this video probably already got scammed for paying the full retail price at launch. Also, keep in mind, if you do buy this game at this price, you are still going to have to spend another $60 on VC to even do anything if you want to go to the park. Keep that in mind, and it's just a little heads up. Now, let's talk about Ronnie 2K. I mean, look, I have complained about this guy a lot on this channel, but it just keeps getting worse and worse, and I didn't think that was possible. I am convinced that Ronnie 2K was hired for the sole reason of people disliking him. Like, I'm not even kidding at this point. The first tweet I want to show you was from an Asian video that really rubbed me the wrong way, and it's definitely going to rub you guys the wrong way. Listen to this. So Ronnie 2K tweeted out that they were looking around offering logos to smaller content creators and whatnot. For you guys who don't understand what that means, it's pretty simple. So people who have logos are basically verified in the neighborhood and they have a 2K sign over their head. It used to be the YouTube or Twitch logo, but they changed that around a little bit. I don't know why, but basically everyone wants this because it's really going to help you as a content creator for the most part. So iPod King Carter replied and you won't believe what happened. Check out this tweet on your screen. So iPod King Carter tagged who I'm assuming was one of his friends for the chance of him getting a logo. You know, him being a good guy. And Ronnie 2K literally replies with, Shut your mouth and know your damn role. Yeah, I'm not kidding. This is actually a real tweet. Now this bothered me and it probably bothered a lot of you guys in a lot of ways. For me personally, the first one being is that Ronnie is treating iPod King Carter with so much disrespect here, it's not even funny. And iPod is an OG. People know who iPod King Carter is for the most part. It's not like he's some random kid begging Ronnie 2K on Twitter every day for a logo. The other main reason why this bothered me so much is that Ronnie is literally acting like he is better than him. How are you a representative of the biggest basketball game in the world tweeting like a 12 year old with an ego? You are in your mid 30s tweeting like a little child and it's honestly embarrassing. You don't just talk to consumers who support your game every single year like that. How are you going to allow someone to go on Twitter and reply and just be straight up disrespectful to people who are asking genuine questions? This next screenshot I want to show you is another tweet that is basically mocking us as the 2K community. So Ronnie 2K quote tweeted the tweet and he wrote the following, True, but you forgot to blame me for the game. Dot, 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 dot. Obviously in reference to 2K20. Now look. I know Ronnie2k is not a gameplay developer, but I want to explain to you why this is annoying as a person who is in the 2k community and plays the game, which I don't actually play the game much anymore because it's just terrible, but as someone who is in the 2k community, I want to explain to you why this is annoying. Not once has Ronnie came out and apologized for lying, falsely advertising features in the game, or just not really being a good person. Instead, he comes out and mocks the 2K community about how we have to play a non-finished, repolished 2K19 for another year. And also, you guys remember when he went on that talk show and basically said how Fire Ronnie 2K was a good thing and apparently he wasn't worried about losing his job or his job being in jeopardy. But listen, like I said, I know Ronnie 2K isn't a game developer, but he definitely has a say in what happens in the game, and he gets the most feedback given to him when it comes to the actual game. When something goes wrong, 90% of the time, Ronnie is probably going to be tagged. Whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on Instagram, Ronnie 2K definitely receives the most feedback when it comes to the problems in the game. And I think a lot of you guys forgot, actually probably not a lot of you guys forgot, but you guys remember when Ronnie2k tweeted out that list of things he took from the prelude? He talked about 
buffing the small forward position, adding new pie charts and other changes to the game. So he takes the feedback from the community and sends it to the gameplay developers. So Ronnie 2K actually has a huge part in what is going on with the game. But instead of ignoring these tweets or ignoring iPod King Carter's tweet, Ronnie has to somehow find a way to get people mad and have people dislike him even more. I'll say this again, and I honestly believe it now. Ronnie 2K's tactic of getting the game more publicity and more sales is by being disliked. There's no other explanation for a grown man to tweet and act like this. But with that being said, that is going to bring the video to an end. These couple tweets just made me it just blew my mind how ronnie 2k continues to surprise people with the way he acts you are a grown man people don't like your game and you're still sitting there trying to laugh about it trying to make jokes about it we get it you made your money 2k made their money we got played ha 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 but the fact that you would sit there and make jokes about it just isn't really cool especially when you're a grown man but with that being said, that's going to bring the video to an end. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and love any 2K related content. Once again, guys, thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.